number four out of what's going to be now 19 more minutes of racing. It will go to the time. And so as they come over the timing line, who is it going to be that grabs the advantage up towards turn one? Alexis van der Poel does the defending. Up to the outside comes Jan Kissiel to try and go ahead of Dennis Marshall. The yellow car of Kissiel finds a bit of grip on the outside, runs up onto the kerb. And he comes out with his nose in front then. So Jan Kissiel then just noses ahead as they power their way up now towards turn two. But all of this squabbling for second place has enabled the race leader to edge away. Alexis van der Poel looking to make it six different winners out of six races. He leads, but can they all safely get round turn two as Marshall comes back up the inside for second place? And he's done it, goes through. Staying on the outside of him though is Jan Kissiel. But it's going to be Dennis Marshall just with his nose in front and a big, big, big coming together heading up the hill. You can see four, five cars off and an engine fire as well. And that, I fear, may well be six cars off. There's another in the gravel. It's going to be a red flag straight away. The race is stopped. It's a race suspension. And that is Loris Hesemann's car that has suffered a huge amount of damage. And lots and lots of cars involved in that. You can see that also off the road is Karn Ondor, number nine. Other drivers trying to get out. Levin Amveg, I think, is there as well. Number 11. Who else have we lost? 33. Emil Lindholm. And there's one driver still in his car, look, up against the barrier nearest to us, who's going to be in need of attention. And let's see if we can piece it all together. It all goes wrong in the spray. Big, big, big impact. That, I fear, was Hofbauer. And then others, just with nowhere to go, piled into him. And look at this. Bang. Wow. That was... Absolutely an enormous impact, and there are more to come. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I think it was Levin Amveg's white car that went ploughing into the melee and caused the secondary impact for Loris Hesemann's, which in turn created that engine fire, but that is an enormous accident. And so the race stopped. The cars had only been running for effectively two corners. The good news is that despite that enormous T-bone, Loris Hesemann's is OK and out of the car. Shows the strength of the cars, definitely, as others leap clear of the wreckage. Karn Ondor, we know we lost Levin Amveg out of the race. There's another one in the gravel bed there, look. Some of the drivers, Karn Ondor, needing some attention. And one or two drivers decidedly sore and shaken and winded by all of that. Not surprising.